everybody welcome back to the channel for today's video i actually want to take a look at some of the committee hearings that we used to cover as this week in particular has been a very jam-packed uh, week of of hearings now uh as you can see thursday alone today it's been pretty busy but in this one in particular i want to take a look at tuesday the very last one of the day and this is because they had the ceo of cbc Catherine tate returning since uh, I believe it was February of this year that she was there. Now, this is significant because uh, CBC just got $42 million extra dollars, but they are still going to be letting go of the 600 employees and not filling 200 vacant positions that they announced back in December. So essentially 800 jobs are still getting scrapped, even though they just got more money. Now, Rachel Thomas here, as she did in the previous committee hearing, is going to be just going at her in, in regards to bonuses. But I'm not going to be playing the full six minutes of the opening as much as I'd love to, because I actually want to focus more at the end of the committee hearing, because this is where a lot of the liberal corruption starts to unwind. Now, I'm going to be playing a portion from the opening as the liberal Nur Muhammad had already point of ordered her twice. The first time he point of order, he then said, oh, it was a point of clarification, which he's not even supposed to be doing. And the second time, uh, Rachel actually challenges the chair on his point of order. And in my opinion, she wins. Senior member of the management team, which makes the decisions. Seconds. And then those decisions get recommended to the board, seconds. which you are a member of the board. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you have access to information. Point of order, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, this question has been asked, I think, six times now that the, I think the question has been clearly asked and the answers have been clearly given. And so I think Ms. Uh, Ms., Ms. Thomas has got, um, it was over by two seconds. Uh, she's got literally about two seconds left. Finish. So, Chair, I just point of, point of, I guess, response to the point of order since you're ruling it um, in favor. I just want to be sure then, no repeat questions are permitted at this table is the ruling of the Chair? I don't think that was the member suggested. I think he suggested that the member, the question had been repeated over and over. Okay. The witness so had answered over and over, and question. it was getting to be repetitious because the question was the same and the answers were exactly the Thank same. Thank you. Point of order, Thank Chair. You. I'm just looking for a ruling. What would be the number of times that would be appropriate to repeat a question? There is no set number of times. Okay. But as a chair, Thank you, I chair. may decide Thank you, on how the meeting Thank moves you, forward. Chair. There is and no allow me to finish number. speaking, Miss. Ms. Thomas, thank you. Now, as you can see there, to me, this is the genesis of what you're about to witness in the next clip, where Rachel Thomas is still in the middle of asking Catherine Tate a question. She has plenty of time, and the liberals decide to shut down the meeting because it is past six o'clock, which, as you can see here, this was the last meeting of the day. It's not like anything was coming up where they couldn't use that spare time, but Maybe the liberal chair needed to get to bed. I don't know. Thank you. Ms. Tate, uh, you confirmed that um, under Trudeau, you've been granted another $140 million. Um, there was just over $96 million that was a part of the main estimates, and then another $42 million that were a part of Budget 2024. Um, so a total of 140 is this additional funding that is coming your way contingent on no more bonuses for executives? Uh, first of all, the funding from Treasury Board in the main estimates is not incremental funding. That is a salary inflation funding that all de government departments and crowns get. What we have received is $42 million, and it is not contingent on performance pay or as we, as we are operating at the arm's length organization, we have a certain amount of discretion. Obviously, in this case, those funds will be applied to ensure no further job cuts and reinvestment in the independent production sector. So sorry, just to confirm then, it, it is contingent on no further job cuts? I have assumed that it is. There is no direction 
when the government assigns dollars in the way that it does. There was nothing written in okay. the decision. So are, are you committing today then that during the year of 2024-25 there will be no more job cuts at the CBC? There will be no significant job cuts related to balancing our budget. We are an organization that constantly, as you heard earlier, have people coming and going, and we are constantly adjusting programming. I will okay. never make a decision on so, behalf of the newsroom on a program that they may or may not decide to cut. So on December 4th, you announced that 800 jobs were going to be cut from the CBC. Mm -hmm. So far, 400 of those jobs, close to 400 of those jobs, have been cut. Meanwhile, the government has granted 140 million new dollars, taxpayer dollars, to the CBC, and you continued to contend for your own executive bonus. And Point of order, Madam Chair. Of um, look, I respect Ms. Thomas's right to tweet whatever she wants, but now she's making accusations here. And now a committee of a witness, and basically that they're Madam saying that they're. Chair, this is I, not a point of order. Can I get to my point, please? Thank you. I need to listen to the point before I can rule on it, Philip. Okay. She's basically saying that their testimony is now factually inaccurate. Like, she knows that she's the one misrepresenting what the witness said when she appeared on January 20th. I've got copies of the transcripts of what was said at that meeting, where she verbally attacked the witness with the clear intention of trying to get a clip that she thought she might be able to use for whatever purpose. The records show that the witness and her team clarified this issue, and I don't know this what the member was doing, order, but I would like to point to the facts of that testimony, and unless my colleague can point to an alternative set of facts, I'd like to, to ask her to withdraw order, the Madam accusations Chair. that Ms. Tate is not representing the truth. This is not a point of order. That's not a point of order. Uh, I'm afraid it isn't, uh, Mr. New Muhammad. So go ahead, Ms. Sorry, Thomas. Madam Chair, my request is that she withdraw the accusation that the witness is lying. You don't yeah. have the floor. Well, you have a request. A member has a request for withdrawing the accusation. I think that... It's Ms. Not Thomas? A point of order. The point of order is Ms. The, the floor is Ms. Tate. His point of order is invalid. It's Ms. It's, uh, it's well, Ms. Thomas. This is clear. Ask the clerk. I, I know that in this meeting, and these members and witnesses quite often are accused of things that are not necessarily so. And in many instances, people have had to suggest that, they, that this is not an appropriate way to assume what people's intentions are. So I'm just suggesting that we should try and be a little more respectful and, and not, not badger witnesses or each other with accusations and assumptions. Thank you. Ms. Thomas? Uh, Ms. Tate, clearly you have the members across the way doing your bidding for you today. Point of order, Madam Chair. Um, yeah, that's, that's horrible. That it's, is. This is not a point this of order. This is now. This is not this keeping is the quorum and committee. Mr. Mr. Order, Lawrence sir. made a point you last meeting. Order. Mr. Lawrence at the last show, meeting tell me made a section. big show this about is not an when. Order. May I make order, Mr. New Mohammed has the floor. At the last meeting, Madam Chair, Mr. Lawrence made great show of being offended when a member was accused of their point of view being misrepresented. I think it is deeply offensive at a minimum, that the member opposite would assert that I am here to do the bidding of any witness. Madam, I raised a Madam point of order Chair, in respect of the not, testimony that was presented, and order. I want people to know what the truth is. And the testimony that I have here from that day would, rec would, would clear that Madam, record up. Madam what I don't Chair, appreciate is, is that I am being order. told by the we member opposite rules. that somehow I am doing the bidding of a witness. I would like, and I would like that comment Muhammad withdrawn. Speak. And I would very much like that comment to be withdrawn because I am not here to do the bidding of any witness. I'm here to do the bidding of my constituents. And as chair, I'm supposed to actually ensure there's a quorum and a respectful way that we treat each other and our witnesses. I think that we have a member asking that one member withdraw a comment that is an assumption and perhaps misleading. And I'm going to ask the member if she wishes to A point of order. The, point that. of order. Um, yes, Ma Mr. Ma Lawrence. Madam Chair, Mr. Mr. Noor Mohammed has not given a valid point of order. We, we are governed in this committee and this country by rules. So his point of order was invalid, and therefore, Ms. Thomas has the floor. Uh, his comments are invalid. He does Madam not Chair. Mr. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Lawrence, I'm here to ensure we stay on the business that we're doing here now, which is requesting question, asking questions of CBC and asking for their accountability on certain issues. And I think if we're going to talk about decorum, decorum means that we do not 
suggests that something else is going on in somebody's minds. We're not mind readers in this place. And I think it's unfair that we do this a lot to each other and to witnesses. I think if Ms. a member has said this is outside of the decorum of this committee, I know that Mr. Shampoo also uh, asked Mr. Saray that he should not um, suggest what Mr. Shampoo and the block are thinking, and Mr. Sore withdraw that and said thank you for the answer. So let's behave in like manner. I think this is a reasonable request from one member, and I would like Ms. Thomas to answer the question, will you withdraw that misleading piece for, of information that for, was included the, in the question? The... Mr. Lawrence, this is not debatable anymore. You do not have a point of order. I'm sorry. Ms. Thomas? Sir, I said it would appear... And that statement stands. It would appear. So would you please repeat your statement, Ms. Thomas? Um, I, I don't believe there's anything that requires me to. Well, I don't know. It would appear, stands alone. It would appear. What would appear? Uh, Madam, Madam Chair, normally these things are reviewed in the blues, if you wish to make an issue of this. And we have done that in the and, past, Ms. And Thomas. Absolutely. And yes. so I would invite you to review the blues and make sure that you are asking something that is appropriate, and then to come back to this committee and make the Great. request. Ma me. Madam Chair, then I would request that we suspend to do that, or adjourn, given that it's 6.05, and then we can come. I would Because I would like a resolution that to this would matter. be raised on a point of order, which you cannot move a motion on a point of order. Correct. I, I, I agree. Agree with you. You cannot move a motion on a point of order, Mr. Mo no Mohammed. But I think that this is uh, requesting that the meeting be adjourned because it's now five minutes after six. Um, I have the chair. I have the floor, Madam Chair. And I'm in the middle of a question round, and I've been interrupted numerous times by the members across the way. And we have suggested at the beginning, when we went to this last round, that we had until five minutes after six. I'm looking at the clock. It is now five minutes after six. Madam and if Chair, this point of committee order. would like to continue Madam with this discussion. I would like to hear from the committee with regard to adjournment. Ma There's no debate on this. There's a question. No, it, it, I, I do have the floor. Madam you have Chair. the floor, but the meeting is over, Miss Miss no, Thomas. It's, it's no, not it over. It doesn't just end. Five minutes after when six. I'm in the middle of a question round. Yeah. Um, we had points of order that, that did that. We have to leave this room at a certain time, I'm told by the chair, by the clerk, and so we I, have to I don't know that that's entirely true. Perhaps you could check with the clerk and see if we could clerk extend another inform, five minutes. Ms. Thomas, uh, you seem to have this penchant for arguing with everyone who makes any suggestions. Well, that's, that's we do have... I order. was told, that and we heard... Uh, Mr. Lawrence, please allow me to speak. When we were going to this last round, Mr. Shampoo suggested that we should find out how much more time we have left so that we could do 25 minutes. The clerk informed me then that we had till five minutes after six. It was clear. She said it. I repeated it. So this is not a... Dis a point of order, I'm Madam Chair. Up. Point of order. And you have a obligation to listen to my point of order. This is not optional. No, go ahead with your point and, of order, and, yes. And, in, no, it is not adjourned. And, and I have a point of order, we and we're continuing question. on here. Because he raised a series of, of non-point of orders, which you, against the rules, recognize. That was against the rules. That got rid of her time. It would be an affront to democracy if you do not allow her to continue. This was clearly an obstruction and, uh, of, of the process. Please continue to allow Ms. Thomas. Otherwise, I will be bringing a point of privilege. Great. Right. Um, I, we now have, it's now 10 minutes after 6. Clerk, do we have time to nope. finish this meeting? Um, that's up to the committee. I can we don't have the issue to do this. Pardon? Yeah. No, nope. it's, it's up to the committee. committee. Sorry. It, the clerk informs me it is up to the committee to decide whether, to decide whether they want to continue. I have a point of order. Yes, Ms. Thomas. Thank you. Um, Madam Chair, you accused me, and I'll use your words, of interrupting everyone. Yes, that's a superlative, interrupting everyone, which is unparliamentary. Miss so, Madam Chair, I would bring that to your attention, and I would ask you to make a ruling as to whether or not that should be withdrawn. Does Miss Harder, Miss Thomas, sorry, interrupt everyone? Because if she does, then your statement stands. But if it can be proven that she does not interrupt everyone, a superlative, then you must withdraw. I and I would ask for your ruling 
as the official chair of this committee. I think, Ms. Thomas, to decide whether I, you interrupt everyone, I'm going to have to go back into the past blues and read every one of them to find out if this is true. But it is on the record, and if you like, I would withdraw the term everyone and say you often interrupt people in this committee, whether it's other members or witnesses or every, everyone who has something to say. If you disagree with them, you interrupt. Often you do that. This is a pattern that you have, and I don't like it because it does not, it's not in keeping with having a respectful meeting. And I'm going to state that clearly. We need to be respectful here. We need to have decorum here. We are a parliamentary committee. We're not a little group of people chatting around here and throwing stones at each other. So let's try and be respectful. So, Mr. Um, Mr. Sorry, point of order. Yes. You just said we don't throw stones at one another, but I seem to be the object to which you throw stones quite often. Uh, Ms. Thomas, I think this is getting to be just a little bit too much. I correct anyone. I have corrected people who have interrupted everyone. I've corrected them in each time to keep decorum in this committee. So I think it's time we go with the decorum in this committee. And I'm going to ask a question right now of this committee. Do you wish this meeting to continue or do you wish this meeting to adjourn? Recorded division. Recorded All right, division. Recorded, recorded division. division. Thank you. Clerk, can we record the division, please? Uh, the question is to suspend the meeting. Uh, sorry, adjourn the meeting. Mr. Noor Mohammed. Yes. Mr. Kutu. Yes. Ms. Latanzio. Yes. Ms. Ganey. Oui. Uh, Ms. Suseri. Oui. Mr. Wall. No. Ms. Thomas. No. Mr. Gould. No. Mr. Lawrence. No. Mr. Champoux. Oui. Ms. Ashton? No. <coughs> Yes, pour six, six, nays contre, five, cinq. The meeting is adjourned. Thank you. And there you have it, folks. I don't know how anyone else is supposed to take this when they talk about the CBC being corrupted by liberals and this Nur Muhammad guy is being offended here saying, oh, I don't work for anybody. Yet, as Rachel Thomas is trying to get down to the nitty gritty on whether these guys are getting bonuses still, even though they just got a whole lump sum of money, they're still firing those 800 people. They decide to shut it down and say, well, it's past six o'clock. Let's just let's just end it here when she's still in the middle of questioning. It's absolutely mind blowing. But as always, love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you thought about this whole situation. If you made it through that whole video and to the end here, uh, do something for me. Let me know your favorite ice cream flavor in the comment section below. My family and I went out for ice cream today. So let's see how many people actually did sit through that whole clip. With that being said, as always, I will catch you guys on the next one, and thanks so much.